Hello, I'm Tyler Bruno. I'm a sophomore here at Hopewell Valley. Um, I'm here to tell you more about the World Language Department. Studying a second language gives CHS students the chance to enhance their educational experience and widen their view of the world. The Exciting Exchange program offers a memorable and life-changing opportunity for students looking to put what they have learned in the classroom to practical use in the real world. We'll touch up on all of the language offerings, but let's start at the beginning with Latin. Hey, my name's Agugua. Uh, I'm a current Latin student. I've been taking Latin for about four years now. I'm in AP Latin right now with Miss Laporte. I like the freedom Miss Laporte gives you when she assigns the assignments and how interesting they are. When I first wanted to do Latin, Latin separated from, from the other languages because it just gave you a new outlook, outlook on what a language was and what could be studied through the language. Like Latin's a dead language, there's a, lot, there's a lot of roots that come from Latin and I feel like studying that is a lot more fun, a lot more fulfilling than studying other languages. The most interesting thing I learned has to be the mythology about Latin and the basis of it because there's a lot of mythological figures derived from like Greek and Latin roots and I feel like learning those is really cool. Other than just learning the Latin language, you, can, you learn a lot more about the history of like where Latin was derived from. It goes into like a lot of mythology, the history of Rome, Greek, a lot of wars, and a lot of books. And books like the Aeneid and the Iliad and the Odyssey where you can go into where you go into it and like learn the journey that these people have taken. I feel like you don't learn that from other languages. I'm Charles Stork. I am in AP Latin. Um, so that means I've been taking Latin for four years. It is uh, the basis for English and Spanish and you know, Portuguese and Italian and all these other languages draw from, from Latin, so I think it makes it a very good language to, to learn. In English and in history, I often find myself seeing what I learned in Latin show up there too. Uh, so like in history, um, like with like the French Revolution, they draw from the ideals of the classics and uh, a lot of the, the Roman thinkers. Um, in English, uh, a lot of the sort of like crazy words that you wouldn't really use conversationally have like Latin roots and uh, I can sort of figure out the definition of them just from knowing the Latin word. Hi, my name is Will Fleming. I am a senior at this school and I take Latin. I've been taking Latin since freshman year. When I started studying Latin, I got interested in learning about Roman history and Roman culture and, and that education that I pursued mostly through the internet um, and online videos has made it so I'm able to find connections between uh, ancient civilizations and our civilization now and those connections are really cool. My name is Evan Miller. I am an AP Latin student. I've been studying Latin for four years and I've been a member of Latin Club for the past four years. Latin is really interesting because it's not like French or German where there are other people who speak it. It's like Latin is just like, it's like a, a hidden cult that no one really knows about and that you get to be part of. I'm Elizabeth Peters. I'm a senior this year and I am in both AP German and AP Latin. I took both. I also wanted to try Latin because I want to be a doctor when I'm older and I know that Latin you need a lot of like root words and stuff. Um, for all of the medication, so I'm just like, oh, like I don't want to drop something that I've been taking for so long and love for so long, but I also don't want to miss out on this opportunity. And when I signed up originally, they were just like, no, you can't take two languages. And like Laporte and Grimaldi were actually just like, no, like let her do it. And I and like ever since then, like they've become best friends, and I've become best friends with them. So like, I like definitely because of the fact that I took both languages, like I've made some really good like mentor friends because of them. German actually is the one language that they teach here that like isn't a core language from Latin. So I feel like when like I'm going back into like my English classes and stuff and we're reading things that have like French influence or um, Spanish influence and they bring up all of these words, I'm like, I know that word, that's a Latin word. If you, if you didn't connect or click with your language that you had in middle school, branch out and try a new language. Like I definitely, when I first went into Latin, I'm just like, eh, is this the class for me? Like, am I even gonna be any good at it? And like you'll find that like the teachers are so happy that you're there to experience their language. Like even if you are like continuing with your Spanish or something, these teachers are so high level and so ready to teach you like what it is and they really want you to be able to speak it fluently that no matter what language you go into, I feel like you'll really enjoy it. Latin isn't the only language that helps students build a foundation for life. Let's learn more about the Spanish classes.
My name is Alex. I'm taking Spanish 6 right now and I'm a senior. I'm Michael Angeloni. I'm a senior and I'm taking Spanish 6 this year. My name is Sydney Malone. I'm a senior and I took Spanish for the last three years. My parents encouraged me to take Spanish definitely because of the practicality of it. Um, it's a language that's very commonly used in the United States, obviously. Picking up on another language is definitely useful for the first reason, obviously, the exchange, because we got to meet new people in a different country, which was really exciting. It's really cool after taking a language for so long to finally be able to understand when people are speaking in the language or just being able to write the language and having conversations with other students. The exchange program is something that the school runs um, every other year. First the Spanish exchange students came here for two weeks and then we went to Murcia, Spain for two weeks. It's a really good way to practice your Spanish first of all since the best way to learn a different language is actually using it in a foreign country and it's also a good way to meet new people from a different country who have a different perspective on life than you and also to meet new people within CHS. I really got the opportunity to grow a lot closer to the kids that went from Hopewell and also the kids from Florida Blanca, so it was a really great experience. I think I chose Spanish because I knew it would be useful in day-to-day -day life, not just in the classroom. Thank you, Senor Kincaid and Senor Rivera for an incredible exchange. With Valentine's Day approaching, it's that time of year for romance, so why not talk about French? My name is May Pavic. Uh, I'm a sophomore. I'm Hannah, and I'm a sophomore here, and I chose to take French, and French is a really pretty language, and it kind of is like more complicated than you think it is, but it's still really fun to learn. I'm Bogdan, I'm a sophomore, and uh, I take French 4. Hello, I'm Jimmy Waltman. I'm uh, taking French 4 honors with Ms. Bunnell, and I like absolutely love it. I plan on taking it, on taking honors French 5 next year and then AP French the year after. I went to France uh, like the summer going into fifth grade, so that actually made me want to learn French, and so learning it has um, increased my want to go back there and kind of to travel the world and apply any skills that I may have learned at school to the real world, or like the outside world that's not just our little bubble of Hopewell. A lot of French students will be going over to France with uh, a certain school, and then students from that school will come to the US for a couple weeks. This year in French, we're learning like a whole new set of vocabulary words like that we, did, that we didn't learn like last year. We're learning a bunch of like new tenses, like new like verbs, new um, adjectives, new everything. Learning a different language and kind of helping break down what exactly like makes up a language. It even has probably helped me know more about the English language. Learning French has been really good for me because when I went to Paris or to Montreal, it allowed me to communicate with the people and experience the culture in a more first-hand sort of way. It has been very useful learning French because at this level we learn all the really specific mechanics and you'd be surprised how much people say wrong in English that we're learning how to say properly in French. If you want to transfer to French, or if you're thinking about uh, switching out of French, uh, I would recommend staying, just because it'll help you out in the future. Like, not only is it fun to speak French, but you could go to France um, and actually apply your skills there. Finally, let's conclude our series with a look at HVCHS's German program. Students had a lot of great things to say about their experience. Since we're all here for the uh, World Language Fundraiser, we have come up with a word for it, which is Das Weltsprachen Unterricht Spendaktionsprojekt. Or in English, the World Language Class Fundraiser Project. Hello, ich bin Adelina. Ich bin Caitlin. Und ich bin Ali. Die Schokoladekaninchen Gestaltungssicherheit zur Organisation. 
I'm Owen Harrison and I take German. I'm Grace, I'm a senior and I've been taking German since sixth grade. Well, my family is German so I um, had some experience with that and I'd also like to learn more about the uh, German and culture and language. My favorite thing about this class is how much more in-depth it is than um, last year's German. Last year's German was a lot easier, I think, but that makes um, this class much more rewarding. We go deeper into the grammatical structure and the basics of the language that lots of conversational tools are built upon. We went to Freiburg, Germany two years ago, almost two years ago, and we spent time in the Freiburg Gymnasium, which is basically a high school similar to a high school there. Basically we took day trips to other parts like France and other parts of Germany and did little trips like that. I actually got to go to Germany um, my sophomore year because of the German exchange and it was one of the most life-changing experiences I've ever had. My favorite part was we were hiking up this mountain one time with um, the rest of the exchange and at the top like we were going up and it was snow cover but when we got to the top it was really nice and we got to like look over all the mountains and landscape. I've never lived for a long period of time overseas and I got to experience like the life of like a German person and I got to speak and like I didn't even think that like my German was even fluent enough to be able to like have a conversation with someone and I had to I pretty much got thrown into a house in Germany and I could like communicate with them and I thought that was so awesome and then like when they came over here my junior year like it was really fun introducing someone who's like never been to America to like American culture and American cuisine and like I don't think if I hadn't taken German um, I probably would have never experienced that. If you're currently taking German, definitely keep taking German. It's a great language and it only gets better um, the more you study it. Thanks for watching everyone and thanks to all the world language teachers that help the students become more well-rounded.